organic learning. Hey guys, today we're opening up this really awesome Hot Wheels 9 pack, which features this cool exclusive decoration. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so first up we have the exclusive decoration car, which is a 2007 Shelby Mustang GT500. This is a really cool lime green color with black markings. And you can see that there's um, a tiny little cobra on this side. And what that signifies is that it's a Shelby Mustang with all the upgrades, including a 500 horsepower engine under the hood. That is a powerful little car. It's actually, um, it's actually seen as one of the most powerful muscle cars of its time. You can see through the windows. This probably would be a black leather interior. Two doors. Wow, very cool. I wonder if I wonder if there's a model like this in this exact color. Cause that would be very cool to see real up close. Okay. Now next up we have this custom 1969 Volkswagen Squareback. Called a squareback because the back is square. This is a Fun color scheme. It's um, like a sparkly eggplant purple with some ivory and gray designs. You can see it's a two door. So, this car is actually part of the Hot Wheels delivery series. Um, and in real life, this uh, delivery wagon was actually really rare because it was only produced in Germany and Australia. Wow. I wonder if anyone has actually seen this bad boy in person. Probably be really cool. Okay, next up we have the RDO8s. Wow, this looks like a really cool car. It's red, or an orange red, with white, black, and yellow designs. You can see yellow on the car, on the wheels. Um, it says Tanchen Custom. Yellow tinted windows. So this is actually a fantasy car that first appeared in the Hot Wheels cartoon Acceleracers. It has a TZ350 hydrogen-fueled dual-turbine engine. That is a mouthful. And it has a fully adjustable computerized suspension and all-wheel drive. Now, if that's not a dream car, I don't know what is. Cool. Have any of you seen Acceleracers? Because I wonder what this car would look like in the cartoon. Because it looks like it would be pretty cool in real life. Okay, now next up is the prototype H24. You can see it says H24 on the side. And Hot Wheels. It is a really pretty, kind of like retro blue color with black and navy and white design elements. Looks very aerodynamic. Oh, there's like a... This definitely looks like a car from the future. Like it would be on the Jetsons, but it would fly. So the prototype H24 is a Hot Wheels original casting. So it was likely inspired by Le Mans 24-hour racing cars of the 1970s and 80s. It uh, has a 16-cylinder engine and apparently has an output of 1,430 horsepower? I mean, is that basically the speed of light? Because that's what it sounds like. That's... that's insane. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. But the prototype H24 was one of the cars featured in the Hot Wheels Track Attack racing video game. I wonder how fun it was to play with this in the video game. It must have been the fastest car in the lineup, for sure. Wow, super cool. Okay. Next up, we have a 1982 Nissan Skyline R30. It's a really nice dark gray color with black and gold accents. Cool. So this is actually a uh, Japanese turbo-powered street racer from uh, the 1980s, which I think is obvious because it is from 1982. And even though it looks, you know, the shape of it is old, you would probably definitely see it racing in a Fast and the Furious movie. <laughs> looks like a car that, like a cool high schooler would drive. Okay, next up we have 1955 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. This car looks super cool. It is a cherry red color with some retro lettering on the side, it says drag strip. 55 for the year, it's a Chevy, we know that, and it says Fatuski on the side. Now, why is that? Well, it's giving a shout out to Brendan Vituski, who was the designer of this particular Hot Wheels car. Uh, the Gasser is an old school Chevy Bel Air body style, has an exposed block engine and fender well headers. Wow. This is an intense car. I wonder if this would, I bet this would be a super loud car on the street. Like you could hear it coming. Probably pretty fun to drive. Look at those gold rims. Uh, very cool. Okay. Next up is the Iridium. If this isn't a car from the future, I don't know what is. It's bright orange with blue, black, and white detailing. It has these cool tinted blue bug eye windows. This is insanely cool. Um, this is a Hot Wheels fantasy car and it made its first appearance in 2005. Um, according to Hot Wheels, it's powered by a four liter turbocharged V5 engine with 420 horses. What? That's crazy. The body panels are also made of aluminum and bonded to a thermoformed plastic chassis. Can you even believe? I cannot. What a fun little car. Very cool. Next up. 68 Chevy Nova. Look at this retro car. It's white with orange and blue detailing. It says Gulf on the side. Good year. Wow. So this is a Gulf racing car sponsored by Hot Wheels and it's part of the Speed Graphics Hot Wheels series. Has a V8 engine and a three-speed turbo hydromatic transmission. Driving this must feel like you're driving a spaceship. Just like crazy powerful. I'm assuming spaceships are powerful. They seem powerful. A cool like goldish, orangish rims. Nice, very cool. And last, but certainly not the least, the Morris Mini. Look how tiny it is. It is blue with some light blue and gray accents. And look at that on the side, 
it's um, you're probably wondering what this is so this is actually some uh, snow designs uh, this car is part of the Hot Wheels snow stormer series hence the snow um, and in real life the Morris Mini was only produced in Britain from 1959 to 1967 so it has that great retro shape and you can see that the steering wheel is on the right hand side which is how British cars are made because they drive on the other side of the road um, it has sliding windows and external door hinges so you can see that right there and what else it has a mustache grill ho, 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 ho. so fancy this is a um, this type of a car is a city car or a subcompact car so it's actually super perfect for driving on the narrow streets of Europe their lanes and their streets are not as big as they are in the United States. Cool. Okay, it's time to go. We hope you had fun opening up this really awesome Hot Wheels 9 pack. Bye bye. See you next time. If you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. Thank you.